Hey, what's going on everybody? Just want to do a quick review of this Bissell Spin Wave. Typically I do robot vacuum reviews on this channel and I got this on one of my pallets and I just got done doing a test with one of my newest robot vacuums that's supposedly supposed to mop good and I pretty much failed the test. Did a terrible job. So I'm going to go over the mess that it missed with this Bissell and we'll see just how quickly that it cleans up that mess. I think this thing is gonna tackle that mess like super, super easily. So this is just be a super quick video. So the way this guy works it has dual spinning microfiber pads at the bottom that you get wet. And then there's a tank here that you can put cleaning solution in. Right now it's just water from this test. But you can put a cleaning solution for hardwood floors or this type of vinyl. Uh, they have both kind. So they have wood floor and then multi-surface. So the wood floor is also gonna polish it, I believe. So it's a very simple system. Basically these two pads you attach to the bottom, which I'll show you in just a second. And then this sprays out water or the liquid mixed with the cleaner onto the spot that you wanna clean. And then these spin really fast and simply just clean up the mess for you. I think this is gonna do an awesome job I think it's gonna clean up this mess that the robot left behind in a matter of seconds. That's my guess. And um, let's just go ahead and show it to you. So I'm gonna get these two wet, and then I'm gonna attach them at the bottom, which they simply attach with a Velcro. So let me do that real quick. All right, so both of these are nice and wet. I haven't used this before, even though it looks like I did. This was an Amazon return. So this is somebody else's nastiness on here. As you can see, they simply Velcro. Very easy, put it on. And then, you know, once I turn this on, both of these will spin and they should clean up the mess very well. We'll go check that out right now. All right, let me show you the little mess real quick that it left, the robot vacuum. So it's vanilla pudding that I smeared on the ground. Just a thin layer and the robot vacuums are not very good at all for mopping. It's just more like a gimmick added feature that they throw in there. So as you see here, a bunch of pudding left. And I can see right there. And there's basically three spots on this ground that have that same exact mess. There it is there, big mess. And over here, there's also some right there, but then other areas. All right, let's see how well this thing cleans up this little mess. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole area, not just that small area, small mess, and we'll let it dry and I'll show you how well it did or how bad it did. So it has an on and off button here, and then you can tell it when to squirt by pushing that. There we go. You see they spin quite quick. I'm going to spray down this area. Probably don't need too much water. And once again, this is just water. There's no cleaning solution. Also gonna tackle this with no issue, I think. Then we'll see if it leaves swirl marks or anything like that. Very easy to control. It's almost like the pad spinning, almost make it float. It's where it's really, really easy to move this thing. Almost wants to drive itself. Let me put a little bit of focus on the areas that I know is kind of bad. Simply go over it a few times. All right. 
and I'm not sure how much I got of this area. It's nice and quiet too, it's not loud at all. All right, and we're just gonna end it right there. It took me about, what, a minute, two minutes max? And we'll see how well it cleaned. I'm gonna let it dry completely. And then I will show you the results. We'll have to see if it leaves any streaking and then how well it got up that pudding. I, I would assume, I mean, that it's cleaned up that pudding super easy. I can almost guarantee. I'd be shocked if there's still pudding down. So I'll be back in about five minutes or so after this dries and we'll take a look and see how good the Bissell spin is. The floor looks to be completely dry. Let's uh, take a look and see how the Bissell spin wave did after the robot vacuum left a huge mess. So I used that Bissell in here for probably, I don't even think it was two minutes. Let's take a look at how it did. So if you remember right, there's a giant mess over here. And that is completely gone. There's another big mess over here. That as well is completely gone. And the third mess over here is completely gone as well. So in just that two minutes or so that I used the spin wave, it cleaned up this entire section really nicely. There are some like watermarks that you can see, but I did not use any type of cleaner in that mixture. And the pads were already dirty when I got it. So I'll do an... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed with this thing. I'm going to do a full review on it. I'm going to clean the pads perfectly clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in, I'm going to make quite a big mess in here, probably both sections. And then I will use a cleaner with the water. We'll see how long it takes and we'll see how long it dries and then see how well it cleans up for that. But it got up those stubborn stains within a matter of a minute or two. So I'm pretty impressed with that thing. That leads me to believe, do you really need a mopping robot? They're cool to have. I love technology. But a mopping is something that you're just not going to do that often compared to vacuuming. And if you have a robot vacuum that's going around and cleaning up all the little dust bunnies and whatnot over you know, every other day or whatnot, your floors are going to re be relatively clean anyways. So I don't know if personally I'm ever going to buy and use and keep a robot vacuum. I'll keep testing them on this channel. A robot mop, I should say. I'll keep testing them on this channel. And if one comes out that's really good, you know, obviously then I'll keep it. But if I can clean this whole area in a matter of three to four minutes with that spin wave, who doesn't have three or four minutes? Anyways, that was just a super quick test. I think it did amazing. I'm gonna test this thing out with a lot more test. It's only $99 as well, which is pretty cheap. And for the job it did with no cleaner and the amount of thickness that was on there, it cleaned it up super quick. So I'm impressed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And um, let me know what, what other kind of messes you want me to use. I got the pudding. I could do like coffee, ice cream, um, juice, soda to make it sticky. I mean, give me some ideas of what kind of a mess you want to see that thing clean or the robot vacuums. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Please do me a favor, like, and subscribe. I have tons of videos coming down the pipeline and uh, I'm pretty excited to test all this stuff. I've been buying a lot of robot vacuums and mops and I probably have within the past two weeks, another one came today. I probably have five or six new ones that I still have to unbox and test completely. A few of them are up already, but yeah, pretty excited. We got the i7 plus. We got the i3 plus. We have this brand new one. This is all I'm going to show you. Some people might know just off the packaging what this is. This is a brand new robot I have to unbox and test. I have no idea if it's going to be good or not, but it claims to have the best suction power of any robot times like two. It claims 7,000 PA suction, so 
I'll test that out and see. And it's made for pets, as you can see. Got the RoboRock S5 still. You have the S9 Plus Roomba. And then I still have to unbox this Neobot. So lots and lots of vacuums to test and clean. Sorry for the mess here, but we also have the D-Bot T8 Plus. We have the Samsung Bot Mop, which I've been very impressed with so far. So as you can see, I got lots of robot vacuums to test and a lot more videos coming on this channel. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Have a great day.